Hello viewers, in this video I'm going to be covering how to navigate in your 3D world, so in the viewports, and also how to rotate your object, how to scale the object, and of course how to move the object. So the first thing I'm going to do um, is kind of go over how to move around in your viewport, you know, how to scroll side to side, up or down, how to zoom in and out, and how to rotate around an object. All these are really useful when it comes to, you know, editing, creating, modifying objects. It doesn't really matter what you're doing. These three um, methods of moving in your 3D world uh, will be really beneficial to you. And you can't really 3D model without knowing how to do these three things. So the first thing is just how to move side to side. You know, everything that I just showed you is using the middle mouse button or a combination of the middle mouse and another button. So the middle mouse button is really the key uh, one to use. So to move around like this you're just going to hold that middle mouse button while you're in the perspective view and just move the mouse around and you can see how I'm moving that around like so. And that applies in any viewport. You see how I'm just moving that around don't forget, you're not moving the actual object at this stage. You're moving, you know, your point of view. You're moving um, the view itself. So don't be mistaken and think that, oh, I'm moving the object up or I'm moving it down because you're not. You're only moving, you know, your point of view. The next thing that I want to show you is how to zoom in and out. Now, this is quite a simple one. You just scroll the mouse wheel forward or up to zoom in and you scroll it back. To zoom out. Now, th now this can be really beneficial if you've got a certain area of a model that you want to kind of zoom in on and edit then that will allow you to do so just by scrolling the mouse wheel forward. You know, and by, by combining the tool that I just showed you using that middle mouse button you can kind of move around and look at different areas of the model from close up. And again top view zooming in and out and the side, the front view too. Now, how to rotate around your object. Now, there's two ways to do this, but I'm going to show you. Uh, well, in fact, there's more than two ways to do this. I'm going to show you the most commonly used ways of doing it, and the ones that I personally use. Now, the way that I learnt it before, you know these new tools and everything got put into 3ds max to make things a lot easier was that you had to use the alt key and the middle mouse button so you hold them both together and then you move the mouse around and that allows you to rotate around this object so if I wanted to have a look at the bottom I could do that or the top sides all from any particular angle now if you've seen my uh, one of my previous videos on the user interface. I did cover viewports a little bit in that and I did tell you that you do not rotate in any view apart from the perspective view. Yeah, so make sure you know that you're in the perspective view if you want to rotate Yeah, by holding the alt and middle mouse button. You know, the explanations there, it's just that this is the only view that is kind of, I don't know, how do I say this? It's a replica of real world, like view, a view from real world, as as you would see an object from the human eye. Whereas this, these other views are 2D representations of your objects or the 3D world. So th th these are 2D, and because they're 2D, they, they have no perspective. So only rotate in the perspective view, like so. The next thing that I want to show you is how to move an object. So if you look on this top toolbar here, there's lots of icons that I could go over, um, but it would take me forever. So I'm just going to stick to the three that will really benefit you the most when you're starting out in 3ds Max. Here's a three just here. This one here, which looks like a cross, is select and move. This one here, which is select and rotate. So that's to rotate the object, spin it around or tip it in one direction. And this one is to 
select and scale. So if I start with move, just click on it, you'll straight away see this these arrows pop up. And this is actually called a gizmo. And if I click on one of the arrows, so the up arrow, I could actually click it with the left mouse button and drag that up. Or I could push it down as well. So you can see I'm only moving it in that one angle like so. I could then kind of drag it forward or backwards with the red arrow and then side to side with the green arrow. You could also use the, the top view um, or the front view or the left view to kind of rotate around, uh, not rotate, sorry, to move an object. Um, If you find it more useful you know you may want to line things up which will be a lot easier to do uh, in these other views the next thing I want to show you is how to rotate an object so you click on to select and rotate and again with this we're just going to click on one of these lines that are kind of going around this uh, sphere so if I want to rock this um, teapot from side to side I click and drag on the axis. If I want to spin it around, I click on this axis just here. Spin that around like so. And if I want to tip um, the teapot as if I was pouring some tea, I click on this axis here and I just do this. So really simple. If I also want to do a free rotate, I can click on any empty space uh, within this sphere, within this gizmo, and then that allows me to kind of do a free rotation like so. But I don't recommend you do that because you want to kind of be precise and ensure that you're rotating the way that you want to and not kind of doing it freehand like so because it can go kind of wrong. <coughs> Um, possibly the last thing I want to show you is how to scale an object. So you click on the scale tool and this one looks a little bit more complicated and I'll kind of explain uh, what it does. You know you, you can see these kind of pulleys you know the green pulley here is gonna make it wider as you can see or thinner. This one will make it longer thinner like so and this one here will make it taller or squish it down but if I hover the mouse in the middle where these lines cross over and you'll see these three triangles highlight and I kind of click and drag the mouse up what it's doing there is it's, it's scaling in every single axis together so it's maintaining the sort of aspect ratio of the object so we're not just kind of scaling it in one dimension anymore it's kind of doing it in all which is really good because if you just want to make an object smaller you know without distorting it that's what you want to do and what these kind of bars on the outside of the inner triangles do is if I want to kind of scale it just in in width and length and not height I click on that and that, that that's what happens you can see if I want to do it just in height and sort of length you can click on that one and if I want to do it just in width and height I click on this one just here you see how they all do different things so it's just about having a play and you know getting to grips with all these different tools like move tool and stuff and you can start creating different objects and different things and lining stuff up if, if you please but yeah, you know, give it a go. Get used to how to rotate objects and how to, you know, rotate around your objects too. So the Alt and the middle mouse button. Or in fact, you can also rotate with this little cube in the top right hand corner as well. Yeah, you just click on that cube and move the mouse around. Anyway, that concludes this tutorial. Hope you liked it and hopefully it was helpful. Cheers.